Hi everyone, it's Lani and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a very quick BoxyCharm unboxing. This is the September this is the September's box. And I do get the base box, which is $25 a month, and you get five full-size products for $25. So this is what it looks like when you open the box. You get a little pamphlet and it tells you the theme as well as products and the retail value. This month is BTS behind the scenes. And the first product I see here is a brow gel from St. Lux. I'm very, very picky with brow gels since I have a very sparse, non-existent little baby brows. So I'm always looking for, I'm very picky, just very, very picky. So this brow gel says it's supposed to leave your brows looking fuller and giving them a perfect shape. Oh, okay, perfect. So it says it has a short brow brush, which is something I'm always looking for because like I said, I have very little brows and I just want to make sure that the brush will fit on my brows. So let me actually just add a little bit. So the brush itself is actually quite perfect for this, you know, for my little brows that I have going on here and it's clear. So that's always nice and there's no real scent. So this retails you for $22. I'll be testing this out and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. The next product that I see here is from Dr. Brandt and this is a triple antioxidant eye cream. Okay, so I think I just got this in one of my recent boxes because I am testing out this product currently. I don't have any real thoughts. I've only been using it a handful of times. But this retails you for $46 and it's supposed to help the appearance of fine lines and aging and all that good stuff. You know, everything that you want a good eye cream to do is supposed to do it. So I'll let you guys know what I think about it, but hopefully it works since I have a backup. But yeah, I do already own this product. And like I said, $46 for this. I wasn't sure if I said that. The next product is from Real Her and this is Gold Digger Moisturizing Lipstick. And okay, Gold Digger is the shade. This retails you for $18 and it's just supposed to be a hydrating lipstick. So let's see. The packaging is really, really pretty, really nice rose gold. Is this rose gold? Yeah, my lighting is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it looks like a really nice rose gold packaging. And it's a little, Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a little hard to open. And this is the shade. Let's do a nice little swatch. So that's what that looks like. This is not a color I would normally gravitate towards, but we'll see. Maybe I can do a nice little, oh, sheared out. It looks really, really nice. Okay, we will try this out and see how it goes. I do like that the emblem is right on the packaging or well, on the lipstick itself. But yeah, I feel like I can make that lipstick shade work just by sharing it out a little bit. I don't like too many bold colors. I'm more of a nude lipstick girl. Okay, so the next thing is from Elena Baduro. So this is Baby Blues set. Okay, so there are brushes in here. So the packaging is really nice. This is very nice brown suede. And then these are the brushes. So with these brushes, let's see what kind of brushes. Well, they're just synthetic, sorry, synthetic brushes. It says contour blend and defined with these three limited edition brushes. Okay, so we will try these out. I do, I do like the color of them. They do feel really nice. Okay, so we'll just push this aside and I will be testing these out. And the last product that's in here is the product that I picked. It's from Blink. It's the Glow Getter Face Palette. And this retails you for $50. So when I saw this, there weren't too many pictures on the line about it. So I just figured blank, the products that I have from this brand, I have really liked. The palette feels really heavy. Okay, so this is a lot prettier than I was expecting. So it's supposed to be a blush and highlight palette. 
So these are all the blushes and then these are all the highlighters. So these actually look really, really nice. I'll test this out in one of the next videos. We'll do the swatches and everything, just reviewing this alone. But it's a really heavy feeling palette and the colors just look really, really nice. So pretty excited about this. And I did say how much this was, $50. But yeah, that was this month's box. I think the box was pretty good. If I could rate it, I would say a four four out of five just because this product I already own and everything else seems pretty you know seems pretty good so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye